So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, I am doing a War Robots update report. This will be my second upload. Um, we are in version 4.0. I haven't done a recording in a very long time because I, I meant to do one um, when I first started. Just to show you the kind of progression that I've been going through. Um... <coughs> So currently I have pretty much everything that I need um, as far as medium weapons go. Uh, I need three more uh, Terrans to complete what I really want. But what we have here is a... Uh, I'm still sticking with my Kareth, believe it or not. Uh, I recently kind of ch changed my bots up today um, because uh, I got kind of frustrated with the setup I had before. And I figured that this setup would work out uh, to my favor a little bit. I recently uh, won this uh, Galahad, which um, I don't know if you've ever gone up against these guys, but they are a pain in the butt to get those shields down. <laughs> so I decided um, my, my ultimate hanger, let, let me just state my ultimate hanger here, is uh, instead of this Galahad with what it has, I would have, just envision this, uh, a Bulgarasi with all shock trains, or Bulgarasi, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, a shock train has a max distance of 500, and I wanted, uh, I didn't do this in the last video, so I'm going to do it in this one. Um, this has a maximum distance of 500 as well. So, uh, th it's explained right, right there, right there. <laughs> on all weapons, if you click on them, um, it explains that the distance is 500. I wish you could like click on the question mark and it would kind of tell you. Well, I guess. Oh, it tells you right there. Range 500, capacity 8 rockets, rate of fire 4.3, reload time 18 seconds. So it shows that 18 seconds. And I, I think it's showing that, I don't know if each rocket does 1790 or if the whole thing does 1790 damage. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> right, referring to my previous video, rockets are not rockets, they're missiles. This should say missile right there. <laughs> right? Anybody agree with me out there? I mean, come on, somebody, somebody comment if you'd agree with me. This should say missile. This should say missile right there. Launch missile precisely and separately or in long, for anyway. Um, I get frustrated with that fact. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the, the distance on that is 500. Um, yeah, any any weapon you click on, a Hydra, hold on, which is a rocket, right? It has a distance of 600. And the thing is, is this calls it a missile as well, which doesn't make any freaking sense whatever. Hold on. Wait, does that say missile? Medium slot, medium range guided missile. And this says rocket okay all right f me i got it backwards okay forgive me you know i think a rocket would be a thing like you know like a model rocket you shoot it up in the air you know it kind of has its own like it's a rocket you know um i think they call it like a inner uh continental ballistic they call it a missile okay anyway i got rockets and missiles backwards whatever <laughs> Forgive me, please regard me. Okay, and then, uh, and so it, envision this. Okay, instead of a Fujin, it, we're going with my ideal hanger here. Okay, so this, this right here, this guy is a Bulgarasi with all shock trains on it. Okay, so this guy is a Haichi uh, with all Orkins on it. Okay, so you see, I got the Orkins in place here. I got all, all mediums. They're all Orkins. You see the medium? Uh, all Orkins. Uh, even has a shield, which is kind of like a HG, but I don't really care about that. The fact is it holds three. Right? Three mediums. Okay. And for this dock, um, instead of a dock, if it said uh, Spectre, everything would be chill. Right? And similarly, uh, if the Fujin... Um, this Fujin particularly was like this Fujin and said 
Haichi instead of Fujin, we'd be all good. But that isn't the case, obviously, because I'm still kind of new in the game. Uh, I could see how many hours I have. Hold on a second. Let me, let, let's see how many hours this has taken me, man. I have poured some time into this thing. Um, how many hours are we at? 322 hours, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. That is... That is a lot of time to pour into a game. Um, I, I don't care who you are. This is this is definitely a grind to win game or a pay to win game. Either way you look at it. Um, anyway, so if this was all Haiichi, or if the Fujin was all Haiichi, and uh, if the Fujin was a Haiichi, everything else was a Terran, we'd be all good. We'd just be upgrading a Terran, upgrading a Haiichi. But it's not. It's a Fujin, so I still got to get a Haiichi. Um, the Gareth. In all honesty, should be a Spectre, and I should have more Terrans. Like I said in the beginning, I don't have enough Terrans. I only have four at the moment, so that's kind of what I'm working with here. Uh, but that would be my ideal hanger, uh, for at least the knife side. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but right in the middle of Equip and Chain Robot is this weird-looking thing, and it says Select Hanger Deck. And... Um, it's basically, before you enter the map, if you notice the map is a distance map, you should probably choose your bots with distance. Um, you can also uh, unlock, you know, up to five. I don't know why you need five. I'd only need three. Uh, one for knifing, which is, you know, close range, basically 300 to... Uh, you know, 500 distance, and then a uh, sniper, which would be my next hanger um, deck, um, would be, uh, I don't know, like, a, a, I don't know what you want to call them, um, basically Natasha with, uh, you know, sniper stuff on it, right? <laughs> and then, like, uh, I don't know if you were to do a third, uh, maybe, like, uh, a mix between medium range and long range. I, I, don't, I don't know why you need so many. I only need another one, and I'm saving up for it. But the thing is, is I actually invested in making my own clan. I, not many people have their own clan. They, uh, you know, it's, it's easier just to join a clan. Uh, but I came up with this idea. I was, like, H8. T-E-R is hater, so I kind of got to make that, right? So, uh, yeah, I got my buddies in here and uh, stuff, and apparently it's lagging, but <clears throat> hopefully it's not lagging later on. Uh, so, anybody uh, plays this game, wants to join my clan, feel feel free to apply for the hater clan. I'm hoping you have a... Um, when you look in the clans, you'll see your weekly activity, and when you click on your name and your profile, it'll say weekly activities, you know, and it'll give you a number. Um, so, I don't think it goes all the way in here, but uh, it does give you a weekly activity. Um, I'm hoping that you'll have uh, 400 if you apply for my clan. Otherwise, I won't see you on the invites and requests. Like all these guys, I kind of just... I, I invited these guys because they're, <laughs> they're all above 400. Um, well. Wait, did I see somebody? No. No, they're all above 400. Um, all these guys that are applying for my clan are definitely below 400, so I'm not going to... Oh, that guy is... Huh. Uh, check his profile. If you do get an account, um, the best thing to do is be honest and uh, uh, go to your uh, account settings, I guess, and state what country you're from. You know, let people know uh, where you're coming from, and uh, maybe people can, you know, uh, pair up with uh, your similar country so they all speak the language because there's no translator built into this game. Um, so yeah, I'm going to accept this guy. He's a, he's a silver, which is kind of pathetic for le level 27, a silver too, but he's got the weekly activity. He sure does, so he's getting accepted. Um, so yeah, I, I do my best to manage my clan, and like I said, uh, my clan ID, if you can't find Haters Clan on Steam PC, uh, is right there, uh, 94260. 
and like I said, feel free to apply. If you have over six, if you have over 400, I will definitely accept you and notice you. Um, I try to keep it full and uh, uh, kick out the players that are making under my minimum requirements. Um, let me see if, oh, yeah, right there. Okay, so if from the main menu you hit menu, or, you know, the main page, right? You hit menu, uh, lower left-hand corner, and then you hit that, and it gives you the country selection, which country you're in. So it's best to be honest, like I said, and just uh, go with which country you're in. And uh, then you get, uh, you know, because, like, for my, for example, my clan is USA. That's where the country is. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's best to be honest with that. Um, let's see, what else do we have on the list here? Oh, cases. Okay, cases. Um, I'm trying to kind of catch up where I left off last time. Okay, so here's the rundown of the cases. Um, when you're starting out, it's best to open tens. Just go for den tens full, full on for, I don't know, the first two weeks uh, into the black market um, if you're still starting out. Uh, if you're not still starting out, you're going to want to roll hundreds at least. Um, if, if you're like kind of in the middle ground and you're, you're not really going for components, you just, you're kind of halfway. Uh, for example, I won this, uh, here's all the robots I have. I, I, I won most of them. Hold on a second. I won this Lance a lot. Um, which is a really great robot. Costs five thousand gold um, in the store, and I won him by clicking on a hundred box. Um, so it does give you pretty good stuff out of the hundred box. Uh, it also does give you components out of the hundred box, um, but uh, I I, uh, I read online that. Uh, in order to get the really good goods, um, the stuff that I want, the stuff that I was mentioning, um, such as uh, the Haichi, the Haichi will not be in 100 boxes. Um, the I'm not sure if Bul Bulgaris will, um, but the Spectres will definitely not be in 100 boxes. Um, so I read online that in order to get those uh, bot components, you're gonna have to save up and uh, use a use thousand boxes. Um, the way I did it was the end of last month. I saved up I don't know five thousand because I wasn't playing that much, and then I opened all thousand boxes. The previous month I opened one thousand box. And I managed to get a super chest, which was, I don't know, it didn't give me much. It gave me like an Exodus and a Spark or something. I, I'll try to post that video later on. But um, the point is, is uh, if you're towards the end game and you're kind of aiming, you got your eyes set on the end game, you're going to want to save up for 1,000 boxes. And these uh, cases, are, are to, to, buy, to buy the tickets, are, are absolutely no joke at all. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a thousand, it's going to take eight of those to get a super chest. What, the super chest is the one you want. That's when this uh, bar fills all the way and you get this magical thing that basically guarantees you something really good. I'll, I'll show you uh, a little bit later on um, what uh, when I rolled a, a thousand chest and a super chest and what, what I got out of it. Um, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't really get much, but I did get something. Um... So anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, basically, when you're starting out, you're aiming for the 10 boxes. Uh, when you're kind of middle ground and uh, you're just aiming uh, for basic bots and stuff, you're going to be going for hundreds. And when you're going for end game components, stuff that's going to make you really happy, you're going for thousands. It'll give you stuff in the thousands that isn't that great. Uh, I think. I can't remember what I got, but it wasn't that great uh, out of the out of the um, five thousand that I rolled. I think it gave me a scourge or something at some point. I was kind of pissed. Um, but these tokens they do come in handy. Um, I thought that they were be they would be a big bummer 
uh, and I said that off off the last one, but it's actually kind of nice because it, as long as you roll two a day, uh, chances are you're gonna get uh, something good. I didn't get anything good today, but um, I did yesterday. I got uh, extra Spectre parts, which I was really happy about. Um, I'm just opening this because I need, <laughs> needed to. Uh, hold on a second. Um, okay, what else? What else should I uh, ex explain to you guys? Okay, so I'll, ro I'll roll the case real quick and just kind of show you the rundown. Um, I've got 300. Oh, I got 309 parts now. Okay, that's cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll be able to open 100. And if you can look real closely, it's mostly gold bots, silver, there's a Fujin, Ion, 10,000, uh, aphid, I, I don't know what that one I'm going to do with that one, um, but yeah, that's, that's a, that's a, uh, uh, so basically you have component, uh, workshop, workshop bots, that's what a rhino would be, um, you have, uh, uh, gold weapons is what that is, um, you do get components, but like, like I said, like an Ion isn't that great. Um, you really need, uh, I'll open two more just to show you, uh, this is the trick behind this thing, the, the 100 boxes, um, if you're into the end game and you just gotta roll 100 boxes for the heck of it, um, I don't know, I, I'm, I, I'm superstitious about it, like writing on the wall status, I'll open 100, and then I'll go into it, and I'll open whatever else I can on a 2 streak, but if you try to look closely, see I got 10,000, there was a Fury back there, Gareth, Leo, you know, it really, it does, it's not going to give you uh, the goods. I didn't really see any specters or anything come across that screen, but I'll, I'll try to slow it down later and let you know uh, in the comment uh, description. What, what the hell is that? Am I lagging? Is that what that is? Oh, it got new ones. Okay, so here's my example. Okay, so um, this is a, a fairly new bot. It's it's kind of nice. It's basically a double jump griffin. It's called a raven. Um, one of the tricks behind the ones that you really want to get is you don't exclude all silver. You leave the top amount of silver. I, I've noticed. I, I you know here we go. It's, you know superstitious. Um, normally, if I really wanted this bot, I would exclude that, that 20, because I don't really, that's the second lowest. Like, I would want components, components, uh, uh, tickets, and I would want I would want more tickets than the lesser tickets. So, I'd, I'd exclude the lowest, the second lowest box. Because, see how this is uh, blue right here, and these are all gray, and these are green. So, anyway, if I really wanted this, I would exclude this 20 instead of this 150. And I think, I don't know, I've just had better luck that way. But since I just don't even care, I'm just going to exclude all the silver because I really don't need silver. Um, I'm going to open one. And it's going to give me, okay, 20. And I always open the middle. I don't, I don't know. It's just <laughs> superstition. Um, so I'm going to exclude the, the all the silver off this one because I don't really want an Arbalast either. It's a small weapon and it just doesn't fit into what I need. Um, if this was, uh, oh, it, it did the center for me. Okay, so I do the corners. Um, if it were something I needed, like a, a, a shock train or, a, it's really laggy right now, I apologize. Um, if it were a shock train or a Bulgarisi or a Spectre, uh, or a Haichi, I would leave this uh, 100,000 um, silver. I wouldn't exclude it, and instead I would exclude the 15 tokens. But since it's something I don't really need, I'm just excluding all the silver. And usually it'll give me the lowest amount. Um, Arbal Ar Arbalast? Arbalast? Whatever. Yeah, because see, 50 is the lowest. They, they screw it around sometimes. They don't always put it so the lowest is at the bottom. It kind of annoys me. Um, okay, this one is actually kind of one that I want, so let's try with, let's try my, um, my skepticism or whatever you want to call it. That's weird, because that one was blue, wasn't it? Look at that. 
15 and this one says 25 anyway I'm gonna exclude that one I'm gonna leave the 600,000 silver even though I don't want it and I'm gonna hope that it gives me something good oh this is so painfully laggy oh well it gave me 20 that's better than nothing I guess um, I'm gonna come back to this at the end of the match and show you guys I kinda want this one too this is a medium the ballista is a medium uh, gecko basically so I guess the second lowest would be this 25 right here that would be the second lowest besides 30,000 silver, 50,000 silver, 150,000 silver. So what I'm telling the game is basically I'd rather have 150,000 silver than 25 tokens, which isn't true, but since I want it, hopefully I click on it and it'll give me something good. Well, it did give me 150,000 silver, so <laughs> I guess I'm happy there. Uh, no luck today. Um, like I said, I'll try all these at the end of the match and see if we come up with anything better. Oh, man, it's really going to give me another free Orkin? <sighs> I I opened a bunch of boxes the other day and got an Orkin, and I was not too happy because I actually have all the Orkins I need, and I spent a lot of gold to do that. Um, looks like I would have had two free Orkins and if I wouldn't have. I would have saved $2,400, uh, 2400 so, or gold, but anyway. Um, so I was going to uh, show you guys real quick uh, the power of gold. Okay, so right here gold can upgrade uh, your weapons and bots faster basically instant you still have to pay silver but you're gonna pay gold too um, when you're doing events uh, you can strengthen a clan by buying those uh, and it will unlock a slot I've lo unlocked one already which uh, turned me from 35 to 37 I guess which means my max amount of uh, clan members is 37 uh, maximum amount of players I can invite uh, which will make my clan stronger yes 31 out of 37 so before I guess the stock amount is 36 you upgrade at 37 your clan's gonna be more stronger what's the advantage of having a stronger clan uh, I don't know bragging rights I guess um, I'm rather jealous of this uh, clan right now. <sighs> Take all this time to do this. Come on. Ugh. Anyway, uh, there's a scorpion clan that is basically ruling the hell out of everybody. Oh, there we go. Use country filter. Choose. Okay, so this is everybody. And uh, Exodus. Basically, I know from getting in a match, just feeling it. If I get in a match with Exodus on the opposite side and they're all Exodus, I'm probably going to lose. And these guys have 40 slots and they're number one, have 66,000 clan activity. Uh, Scorpion Bros, I pretty much know I'm going to lose. Uh, they have 63,000. And their guys are no joke. And these uh, Iron Latinas guys, uh, IL2, they, uh, they dominate pretty good too out there. Also, I don't know about IDA, I've only noticed them a whole lot, but uh, Black Knights, TBK, I've noticed them. Uh, usually, it just it's an intimidation factor, basically, I guess, um, on the clans deal. Uh, if you have uh, top activity, um, which is uh, key to unlocking more slots. Uh, kind of wish I could have done that, but it's alright. I don't have a lot of clan activity. I think it's like 8,000 or something. I'm like 48 on the list or something. Uh, it's not the greatest, but I'm doing my best. They also came out with this new thing real quick. Uh, boosters. Um, basically you can buy them, uh, activate, or, uh, you can earn them. And I, I'm not really 100% sure what they do, but I guess like 10% means it boosts your damage uh ten percent which is kind of a lot but anyway uh boost your damage ten percent and if you're in a squad you can squad with your clan mates it boosts them two percent and likewise this is the same sort of deal except it's five percent it's probably cheaper um and two percent for your clan mates um and they do time out uh this does two hours two hours a day a day five days five days 
Um, defense, it's pretty much the same thing. 10% uh, added defense. I don't know how the heck they calculate that, but you know, whatever. I'll just take it for what it is. Um, I like to use them at, uh, at the end of the month when I'm trying to rank up. Um, or this is another thing is these resources. I ended up trying out one of these and it worked out pretty good. I think it was, yeah, I think I just did 15 minutes and I did, uh, tickets 200%. Um, th this is what this indicates is it's uh, indicating locks, lock box tickets and this is indicating um, your case progress it's basically saying it'll boost you 100 percent for 40 gold or 30 percent or 75 percent for 30 gold or 50 percent uh, for 20 gold but it also gives you clans which is I don't know that's that's kind of cool I'd kind of prefer to buy those um, and squad up with my clan mates and say hey I got boosters on and then uh, and then you know activate the other boosters as well but I think the real money in the end will be probably activating um, the resource boosters at the same time as activating attack and defense boosters I think that'll probably do you the most help um, other than uh, you know the end of the month it gives you this uh, opportunity to win five battles and if you win uh, as many battles as you possibly can there's a chance you can rank up what, what the hell is going on here why doesn't it say five battles next league diamond league one I I didn't receive those damn rewards I don't remember doing that a anyway um, <coughs> so uh, I'm trying, I think I've explained just about everything. Um, the only other thing is I wanted to explain how helpful silver is because I was kind of bragging about it in the beginning. Okay, so I have an Orkin at level 11. Look at how much it is to upgrade, okay? Okay, so just, just to recap, takes 23 seconds to fully upgrade, but these you can shoot them while they're reloading. Um, but yeah, that's 23 seconds to fully reload, and I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure what 1720 means. I mean, that, that's probably per rocket. Um, not missile. I, I know, I get it now. And then, uh, 300 distance, which means you have to be 300, uh, meters or closer to hit them, technically. You can probably hit them from about 305, 309, but it's not going to auto-aim down or up. Just a fact. Um, but look, okay, here's here's what I was talking about with the silver upgrade. 23 million silver. Don't even focus on how long it takes. It's 23 million silver. So just to go from 11 to 12. So if all these were at level 11, it would take almost 27, uh, almost 75,000 silver, right? Just for three we three weapons. Um, and on this, it's basically a hundred thousand silver. Um, oh, sorry, hundred million. Hundred million, right? Let's just double check that. Pretty sure it's a hundred million. Yeah, <laughs> twenty-three million. So basically, a hundred million. Uh, seventy-three, seventy-three million on that, and a hundred million on that. Just that's two bots. That's two bots about a whole hanger. So that's why I'm so dedicated to saving up silver, and I recommend you the same. And try not to spend silver in the beginning. Because it does stack up quick when you're playing in the beginning. And it's really fun in the beginning. Uh, because bots are easier to kill. Stuff like that. But towards the end, it does get much harder to play. And uh, silver becomes more difficult to acquire. Um, man, is there any way to pause this thing? Well, I hope I can pause... <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see here. Okay, anything else I need to explain before we get started? I, I was just doing this as a, as a full sort of recap over um, what I left out in the last one. And, oh, it, this game is rather demanding. Uh, I, I kind of mentioned that it was silly to play it on computer, but I regret that saying that because I do have a very overpowered PC but I have tried to play it on slower computers. I have a Core i3 
uh, quad core uh, laptop with shared uh, uh, graphics card um, and I think about four gigabytes of memory and it just plays horribly on Windows 7 and I mean it's just the whole thing I just I'm just so glad I have this desktop uh, with a, a, Ra a Radeon AMD Radeon uh, 580 uh, whatever <laughs> I mean I have the, I have pretty good stuff um, I can't really go into it right now but I got 16 gigabytes RAM uh, but yeah it's it's fast it's it's play star citizen so um, like I said I kind of regret what I said about earlier about it uh, you know regret it playing it on a overpowered PC but I tried playing it on lesser power PCs and it really doesn't play that well it's slow frame rate choppy uh, definitely not a game for the pre-2005 laptop um, so anyways I guess we're a ways in um, uh, hopefully without further ado I can get this thing started and just do a match for you real quick to kind of show you uh, what's going on? How, how many minutes are we in? I, I can't see it. Right, it's not going to tell me. Okay then. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's try a match. Um, so I can get to doing that second upgrade I'll show you about. Okay, so they got this thing where you can activate boosters here or you can do it through here. And I tried to explain this earlier. Hope you were listening. And to battle, random mode is what I prefer. Pre for all is kind of nuts. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, cancel. Um, another thing is um, you're going to be waiting uh, a second. It, it, I I found it works better. I, I don't know how it works for you. Um, but it definitely works better for me. Call it uh, superstition or whatever. But I just go 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000 to battle. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Random mode. Usually it comes up with a search quicker. Otherwise I'm sitting there waiting for like a minute and a half. And it's really annoying. But we're also at um, uh, an event. They, they're holding an event right now. I don't think it's really... I think the event's over, but... Anyway. Okay, so Domination. First five seconds. Okay. So Domination is not a beacon capture. I can afford to go from a distance, but instead I'm going to go with this guy. What I was saying... Uh, I was going to go from a distance. I was going to get my Galahad and go the 500 meters. Oh, boy. It is really lagging, isn't it? Uh, Don't upload videos while you're recording. Not a good idea. Okay, so I so I can get a pretty good solid look on these guys. So keep in mind all my Terrans are at level 7. Tab switches the uh, player. I kind of missed on that guy a little bit. That's right. Uh, welcome to live. It's, it's not so bad. Mostly for demonstration purposes. I just got wasted by that friggin' uh, David. On my phone, I wouldn't even see this, so you gotta appreciate that. Oh boy, that, that guy's an energy. I, I don't want to mess with that guy. It looks like an off choice. Oh. So, this is kind of what it's like when it's lagging. This is a domination, though, so that uh, indicates that I don't have to steal beacons uh, as rapidly. I can sort of just sit back and fire them off. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but in the top right-hand corner next to menu is this X over the communication symbol uh, thing. Now it says an exclamation point. That means basically my connection is crap. Another X. X is worse than our explanation. Okay, so this guy is pretty good from the distance. What I was saying with the domination is 
like if it were beacon rush that guy would be able to uh, spawn there after uh, he captured since it's domination I can sort of move my distance and take them out slowly still an exclamation point on but yeah uh, basically when it is domination don't use all your bots immediately it's no rush you try, you try to take them out a little slower yeah, that was a by the way, that was a uh, rhino. Extremely su susceptible to missiles, not rockets. I want to call them rockets, but I want to call them missiles. Oh, no, these are called rockets. Right, these are called rockets. We end up backwards again. Uh, extremely su susceptible to rockets, uh, not susceptible to anything plasma, anything energy, basically. Uh, that's kind of the three classes you have. There is uh, solid projectiles, rockets, and energy. Like this guy's firing energy at me, I think with one rocket. Uh, this one. Gonna do that, you know, I'm gonna do that. This guy's not good. That guy's rockets. Uh, aphids are technically I guess according to this game, missiles. So I'm gonna go with a rocket bot, which is my Orkins. I'm gonna try to hold this point underneath. It's getting kind of later in the game. I'm at about, I don't know if you notice on these games, but uh, on the top next to the timer, it says five minutes, 54 seconds. There's these two little bars. Uh, one on the right is the enemy team red, the one on the left is blue, which is your team, and uh, whatever percentage they are is basically how good you're doing. Uh, for example, we're at 54% per 50 or something like that, according to that bar, and they're at about 75, well they were, now they're about 50. Uh, because we have B point, D point, about to have an A point. See how they're, they're highlighted in blue? And they have the C point. I don't know. I noticed a lot of people when they started, and I think when I started, I didn't notice that either. Um, but it, they, you know, it's really hard to know how good you're doing uh, without actually kind of knowing a gauge of what's going on. Oh boy, my internet straight dropped out. Oh uh, boy. I apologize, there's nothing really I can do right now. Okay. Oh, I got it back. Let's see. Okay, when we get back into the hangar... Uh... Boy. That's part of lag, too. It's best to just hold on and wait versus uh, hit to hangar immediately because sometimes it'll let you reconnect. I'm kind of going for a level up right now, so I'm not in a rush to try to lose battles. I'll try this guy out. This guy's going to dominated if he comes up against any uh, rockets, though. Not missiles.
I can actually... I'm just gonna try to hold tight. I think they're gonna lose, naturally. They don't seem too powerful. I didn't, I didn't see any Scorpion guys or RBK guys or... One of those other plans hard and pointed out that I noticed. Hopefully I'm using that guy's shield a little bit. You're lagging this fire to the frame. Ugh. <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. Alright, well at least I didn't get bottom fragger, right? It takes a lot longer to load these things when you're uh, lagging too. This one says to battle, this one says to hangar. Um, let's see what we got here. Yep, second bottom fragger. You will experience lag, and you might have a computer that runs a little slower than it should. So, just be ready for that. Um, when you get back to hangar and it's lagging, you gotta wait a while. Okay, this is what it's gonna do. Okay, so I want this one. This is called the, I don't know, but it, the Ember, yeah. Okay, so I'll show you. Check it out. There's another superstition. See how it just kind of did this thing to it? I don't know. I hit him after that. Sometimes I get good stuff. Sometimes I don't. But usually on these things, like I said, I do two. I try to, uh, at least on the ones I want. At least that's what I'm doing now. Because these tokens are not as easy to get as I thought they were going to be. Ah, uh, not what I wanted. 150,000 silver. That's one of the risks of just doing silver. Tokens are no joke, though. A million tokens, 50 bucks. 180,000 is 10 bucks. You can get 180,000 from about two of these drop cases, which are these things, um, which you get per rank. The crates, I guess, is what they're called. Even though I think the other thing should be called crates. Honor points, honor points. The, the the doubling of the honor points thing. Uh, it's a booster you can possibly get. So the higher in rank you get, uh, the better uh, crates you can get. This guy gets 280,000 per drop. This guy gets 170,000, 85,000. Yeah, like I said, about two diamond crates. 50,000, eh, maybe three to get ten dollars worth of crate money stuff um, but the good part is is when you're coming up on the honor points you also get these crates too so I got 3750 7 500 24,000 30,000 plus my 50,000 so it's about two run throughs to get uh, ten bucks worth um, well I don't know they started a lot of new stuff <laughs> they really did I didn't see coming. Um, anyway, this video is a lot longer than it should be. I hope it uh, helped you in some way. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, like I said, uh, if you want to uh, join my uh, clan, you saw in the beginning of the video how to do that. Oh, yeah, Griffin. I can actually kind of use one of those. Um, usually, like I said, the first roll of the month is going to be a good one. I just wish, kind of wish I had more so I could open two more or something. Um, but I don't have any more. Anyway, uh, I hope that helped everyone. Um, just, uh, hope to see you around. Let's hope to see you on the battlefield. And, uh, stay on Steam. Uh, the computer's the way to go, I tell you. Uh, you just gotta upgrade your computer a little bit. You'll be uh, you'll be happy as a clam. It's it's really nice when this uh, when this computer has a perfect connection, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting the rest of my components to get my uh, ideal um, uh, hanger going um, to get my uh, perfect knife knife bots. And to get the uh, 7,500 gold required to get um, my uh, hanger option. I, I don't know. What is it called? Hold on. What's it called? 
hangar deck. To get my hangar deck, my sec, to get my second hangar deck. I'm looking forward to that 7500, and uh, I'm ho I'm looking forward to get my knife bots going. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll see you guys again. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again in the next episode. Um, maybe I'll have uh, a few more. Uh, components to show off. I in this one, though, I, w I didn't even mention it. I should probably mention it. Um, I actually was lucky enough to get a spark, um, which is one of the component ones. And let me tell you, it is powerful. It takes a lot longer to upgrade. I think it's due to the uh, impl implementation of the new system that it takes a lot longer to upgrade, but it. Uh, gives it to you a little bit easier than it used to uh, but yeah one day uh, from level three to four uh, there's no other weapon that'll do that <laughs> see this is four hours and this is from four to five so um, I think it's only on the components I, I'm not even sure that if they're trying to uh, apply that to the new weapons but I haven't really bought a new weapon in a long time oh wait I could I could check out right now um let me see if I could get my griffin out. Because if they really did Im Im implement this new system where it takes longer to upgrade um, any weapons or bots or component, uh, any weapons or bots that you recently acquired, and it should technically take longer to upgrade these pins than it usually does. And it doesn't. Uh, normally from a level 5 to level 6 takes 8 hours. I could even show you because I have some stored. So I think it's just the components. I was freaking out too. You know, I was buying all these Orkins and, and uh, Terrans. Using up all my money to try and get these weapons and bots before um, they implemented the longer upgrade time but I think it only applies to component uh, weapons and bots <laughs> what a waste anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, you like I said I hope to see you next time soon um, uh, hopefully I'll have something going on next time besides just a spark because that thing's kind of pathetic and I wasn't really ha that happy to win it because it's only a light weapon uh, but uh, uh, you know, when I get the uh, the second uh, hanger deck or I get a component bot, I will post another video, I promise. I hope to see you out there, pilots. Um, have a uh, great rest of the day.